Good morning and happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday to your baby. Thank you for waking up with me this morning and watching my video. And this is if this is your first time, thank you for, for clicking on my video. Thank you for visiting my channel. And won't you go ahead and make it official and go ahead and subscribe. It don't cost a thing. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell to be reminded when I upload another video and when I go live. Like, share, and comment. That's it. Y'all, that's it. Look, I know y'all notice I ain't show, been showing my other hand. Okay? Look, I now I got two nails broken off. Look, I ain't got two things to match. Hair done, nails ain't done. Okay? Why? 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 No, look. Oh, y'all, I got to get my nails done, y'all. This is just a mess. Anyway, let me tell you, I got a good lunch today, you guys. I, I want to give you a small, a little brief update. Um, off the sugar, I still have some cravings. Now, look, like I told you guys before, when you stop a habit, it's going to be hard. Sometimes we have to just go cold turkey. Sometimes we just have to jump in the pool. I'm not really that type that just jump in this stuff, but some things we have to just jump in and just go for what we know. And I have to go cold turkey on this sugar because it's just not good. And a lot of carbohydrates turn into sugar. Have you noticed when you eat carbs? pasta and rice a lot of it and then after that you're lethargic you're tired and you get a burst of energy then you're tired because it's empty calories it's it's it turns into sugar it's not good we have to eat the right kind of carbohydrates so anyway i have some triscuits i love these triscuits let me take my spoon out of here because look i made last night a crab a seafood salad so I got me some Triscuits. I got like, look, it's supposed to be six for serving. I got, you know, a little one and a half servings. Okay, I got, you know, a few extra. But I got me some Triscuits. Look, got me some Triscuits. You know, the little Triscuits. They are so good. And, you know, you can eat things in moderation. You can't, you don't have to stop. Just eat, make better choices. And think before you eat and ask yourself, am I hungry or am I thirsty? Because sometimes our body, we think we're hungry, but we're really thirsty. So drink water first. And then if you're still feeling, then you know you're hungry. But drink water first. I made, please camera. Oh, it did. Oh, okay. I made. You can't, God, you can't really see it. Let me get my spoon. Look. Hope I don't eat none. I oh, probably will. This is my lunch. Oh, it smells so good. So I got tomatoes. I got um, one boiled egg, onions, celery, a little mayo, light mayo. I have, uh, uh, what do you call that? Uh, it's not real crab. Car uh, carnation? Crab? Yeah. And I got the, 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 the salad shrimp. Green onions and regular onions. Cause I love and see here go one. See? Oh God. Oh my God. I you know what? Look, I'm sorry, y'all. Look. Mm, 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 mm. Look. And I'm eating this for lunch. Mmm. And mmm. Mmm. I, you know, I'm just tasting it for y'all. I ain't being greedy. Look, I mean, I got everything in here. Green onion, celery, just, oh, I love it. Ooh, uh, mm, 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 mm. Um, mm, 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 mm. See, this is bad. Because once you taste it, Look, I'm gonna be toe up for lunch today. I, I have a feel. I'm, I'm trying to be strong. I just tasted it and I shouldn't have. So now, look, I ain't gonna have no lunch because by ten o'clock that's gonna be gone. Break time. Just greedy. Got me some coffee. I'm telling you, the struggle is real, y'all. I'm telling you. 
I want to get this together so bad. But I love food. Food has always been my go-to, and it be so good, and, I, and it you, you know, and it just make you feel so good. Okay, you know how you eat something, and it just oh, it just it tastes so good. The flavors, and you just it is just so hard, y'all. Cause see, my family we eat, you, you know, we get together, and we cook. And we sit around the table and we laugh. We 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 make we cap on each other, and we just laugh. And we may have a you know sip of wine or whatever, but we're more eaters than anything. And and it's just you know, have you noticed that a lot of times food brings people together? Let's go to let's talk about work environment. Even in the work environment. They, if they say we got pizza upstairs in a break room, we're going to get together and we're going to have a good meeting. Nobody wants to go to the meeting. Nobody wants to go to the, to the thing. And then soon as they, to the training, but soon they say it's going to be snacks and refreshments at the training. Look, everybody want to sign up and go when they say there's be refreshments or telemarketers be trying to get you to come down for you know to the seminar it's a free seminar on on how to do this and how to get that oh we will be offering lunch everybody coming every a lot of things are based around food it really is Uh, if you really think about it uh, even when you're at home, when you invite people over, girl, I'm tired. I don't feel like coming. Okay, I was going to cook some da 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 Okay, girl, so, you know, maybe I can try to get on up from here. This ain't no good thing for me to be, you know, laying around all day. Look, now she want to come over. You know, that's what I'm saying. It's just, you know, when, when, when food is involved, people start coming. And it's, it's terrible. Like at the restaurants, McDonald's, talk about all these places that you can go in there and get, spend, you know, a dollar or two on some french fries. But it costs $5 for something healthy. If you want some milk, that's $3. But if you want some french fries, that's one. What is wrong with everything is so backwards. They supersize in everything. It's so easy to go in there and spend two or three dollars on a bad on a little hamburger. But if you go to a health food store to get an apple, okay, that's five dollars for two apples. But then you can go to make that. You know, it's just we it's it's a it's a society thing. And when we're we're in society. Okay, so we have to change ourselves while we're in society. We have to because it's so easy to fall into that realm. That's why I'm not a mugbanger. I will share a meal with you guys. I will eat. I'm not a mugbanger. I'm not because if I, tr- you know, put it like this. And the reason why I'm, I'm focusing on this here and I'm, I'm going to give you a message with this. If you start something, let's say you want to start singing, let's do that. Let's say you want to be a singer and you're just starting out. You just signed a contract, but you're singing type of you're singing music, types of music that you really don't enjoy, that you really don't feel inside. It's not you, but you're doing it because you're getting all these fans. You're getting all these fans. I mean, your your numbers have just skyrocketed. You went platinum. You pulled everybody in. And then once you get settled and get your fan base, then you say, you know what I'm going to do? My next album is going to be the kind of music I like. Then you start doing what you like because you're not happy doing that. You're not. And when you finally find yourself and you get confident enough to do you, and then your fans be like, uh, are we, you know, what happened to that? You know, we, they're not feeling you. And then they start dropping. Cause you wasn't real in the beginning. You wasn't true to yourself in the beginning. You cannot start anything not being true to yourself because then you're, you're not only are you suffering, but now your fans are. And now the people looking at you like, 
We believed everything you said. We was believing you. We was rock with you. We, we, we enjoyed what you was doing. And now you switching up on us. No, we're, I'm not really switching up. I'm just being me. Oh, then, so in other words, you were, you were being fake the whole time. You weren't being you the whole time. I don't want to do that. I want to brand my channel and brand it how I really am. And I want people to love me and love my vibe for me. I'm not going to switch up. I love to eat. I ain't going to lie. I do. I will do a mukbang, a, a, a mini mukbang. I call because a mukbang really is a, 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 a abundance of food. It's not a meal. OK, so I will share a meal with you. I, I don't really like to call it mukbang, but because that's not really what it is. Mukbang is eating tons of food, just sitting there eating. OK, trying different foods. OK, I will share a meal with you is is probably the most I do and have a conversation with you. But I'm not going to be a, I'm not a mukbang channel. I'm not because that's not who I am inside. That's not what I want to do for a lot of different reasons and mainly for health reasons. Because once you start mukbanging, if I was to do that. And start mukbanging and having good conversation and eating, then they're gonna be people gonna be like, Oh, let me see you eat this, let me see you eat that. Next thing you know, I'm gonna be going here, going there, going here, going there, going here, going there, and, get, and my health is gonna deteriorate. All this th on so many different levels. And then when I say, You know what, I'm getting ready because some mukbangers do that. They say, Well, I'm not gonna be doing that many mukbangs, I'm gonna start watching my health. People gonna be like, What? We came to you for the mukbang. We came to you for this. Now you switch it up. And then you start losing. And not only that, you lose yourself inside. You start losing yourself. I don't want to do that. I don't. And I encourage anybody out there, if there's anything you want to do in life, if there's anything you want to do, just stay true to yourself. Your true followers, your true fans, the true people that's going to enjoy you are going to come to you for you. Because you stepping out on the platform real. You ain't being fake. You straight 100. This is me. This is who I am. Love me or you don't. Okay. There's billions and billions and billions of people out there. Okay. There's going to be some that's going to love you. And there's going to be some that's not. You just keep moving on till you find that one that you can vibe with. That's just what I'm saying. So me, I like my cooking shows. I love my story time. I love making y'all cry with me. I love making y'all laugh with me. I love making y'all smile. I love encouraging you. I love my channel. I love my subscribers. I love what I'm doing and I am not going to switch up and be something I'm not just to get subscribers there's so many people out there that does videos shouting out these big youtubers just to get views just to get recognition it is fake it's fake it's not sincere okay you don't have to clickbait. There's people out there that be putting certain things in a title to get you to clickbait. Mine be real. Story time. Happy Tuesday. Okay. Happy Wednesday. My, straight up. It is what it is. It got. It is what it is. It got to be. You got to be. You cannot start a business. Okay. Let's forget about the business. Like Monique, the comedian. She was down for the big girls. All she used to talk about was big girls. Now, she lost weight. That's good. Good for her. She lost weight. She looks wonderful. She does. But she ain't rocking with us no more. She's not rocking with the big girls no more. She switched up. She switched up. And her fan base has dropped down, not just for that, for other reasons, too. I'm not even going to get into it for other reasons, too. But that's one of them. She switched up. 
You got to you have to stay true to the game. OK, you got to stay true. Now, you can incorporate little other things, but you got to stay true to yourself. You got to stay transparent in this game. In this game of life. Not just in your, in, in, you know, at work or what you're trying to, what platform you're trying to build. Not just in that, but in the whole circle of life with your family members, with your spouse, with your friends, with your job, whatever it is you're trying to do. You got to stay true to you and you got to stay on your vision. You got to stay focused no matter what. It is. Whether it's selling t-shirts, whether it's doing hair, nails, YouTube, whatever. I'm about to say Facebook. But whatever it is you're trying to do, you got to stay true to you. I'm telling you. And so, yeah, I'm not a mukbang channel. On, because I just, I don't want to sit there and just eat food. For what? To gain a couple of views. To gain some views. Okay. To get a check. But I won't be healthy enough to go spend the check. Then I won't be healthy enough to do another video. Because my stomach is messed up. My gastria. Gastria. I got gastriolitis. I got, you know, all these different issues going on. Ulcers. Because I'm sitting here eating all these. All this seafood. Seafood is full of cholesterol. Full of it. I can't even get it out. Seafood has the most, not all of it, one of the foods that carry a lot of cholesterol issues is seafood. I am not going to sit here and eat seafood every single day. And God knows I love seafood. I am not going to kill myself. For a temporary happiness. For a temporary happiness. I'm not. Okay. I will eat some seafood. Okay. But I'm not going to sit there and eat it all day, every day. I'm not going to eat fried chicken every single day to get some views. I'm not. I'm not going to sit there and eat a big old giant bowl of, of noodles. For a view. Do you know noodles are the worst thing you can eat? Anything that, that's like that in a package that you can throw on water and it's going to swell up. It's swelling up in you. It doesn't even digest like that. Have you ever cooked some butter? Just cook some butter. And then after you cook it, just let it sit. Put it in, pour it in a bowl and let it sit. Let it get cold. You see how grease and, and butter looks when it gets cold, how it gets, you know, that how it freezes up, how it, that's how it is in your, in your, in your body, in your intestines, froze up like that. Then you're drinking cold water, which is freezing it up more. You're drinking cold beverage that's, it ain't breaking it down. Have you ever put grease in the sink or had grease on your hand and you rinsed your hands off with cold water or warm water and it's still all over your hand. That's how it is in your body. Look at your food on your plate and see how it is on your plate. Look at the grease. That's how that you're eating that. That's how it is going to end up in your body. It's not worth it for me. Everybody has their level of what's worth it to them. And me, really, I, I really want to get this health situation together. Because right now, my health is good. I don't have high cholesterol. Because of my age, I am. I do have to take a cholesterol pill. Because um, one of my numbers are a little higher than what it's supposed to be. Only because of my age. Okay. That's what the doctor said. Cause they looked, I, they ran tests and said my my numbers are not that it's, it's sky high like that. Okay, um, you know my sugar. I'm pre diabetic. Um, you know, so I have to watch my sugars. I have to watch my carbohydrates. 
Okay, I want to live to keep doing videos. I don't want to die after doing videos and I got a hundred, you know, million subscribers. But now I can't even enjoy y'all because I'm laid up in the hospital. Feet all swole up. Intestines all clogged up. Constipated. Got gas. Face breaking out with bumps and pimples and and then this. Have you noticed? A lot of people, you can always tell when their health is not good for African-Americans. We start getting dark around our neck and dark patches on our face. That's all that food that you're eating and you're not releasing it. It's not digesting properly and it's in your body and you, you, it, it's not coming out the way it should come out. And so for me, I wanted to talk about this today to explain to you guys that I will share a meal with you, but I'm on this health journey. I'm going to stay on this health journey. I'm going to stay on this mental thing that I'm on. I've always been like this. And I thank God I found this platform to bring it to the world. Okay, there's a lot of people out there that may need to hear this. That may need to hear some positivity. That's going through some may be depressed. <coughs> oh, excuse me, y'all may de be depressed and may need to know that there's other people out there depressed, too. But you can make it. You can make it. You know, you can do it, you know, and you don't have to to be something that you're not. To gain popularity. For temporary satisfaction. You be yourself. You do you. You stay true to yourself. And everything else will follow. Because you don't want to start something in a way where you're not happy. And you really don't like what you're doing. You really don't feel what you're doing. You're just getting on it, doing it. You just get picking up that microphone, singing a song so you can make that money. But then after that song is over and the concert is over, you go home like, man, you take a deep breath. Now you can be you. And then when you're in the privacy of your own home, you go in your studio and, and, and sing and make music, the kind of music you like. So you turning something that was supposed to be wonderful into a job. It's no longer something that you enjoy doing anymore. Now, when you get on stage, it's a job because you're acting. You're doing something that's really you don't want to do. You're doing it for the people. You're doing it for the check. That's going to start showing. And then it's going to start breaking you down because you won't be able to sleep at night. You're going to be upset. You, you're, not, you're not happy. You make it all this money and you're still not happy. You got all this popularity, and but you're still not happy. You're getting this check coming in, but your health is messed up. You're not happy because you're stressed out all the time. No. Stay true to you. Stay true to the game. And your karma, the people that enjoy you are going to come to you for you. And they're going to stay with you long lasting because you're not going to change. You're bringing them you. Your music ain't going to change. Your acting ain't going to change. You're not going to change because you already being you. You're not switching up. You might do little things different. You know, you might bring out something different. You might do a, little, a song or two that might be a little different. You know, to 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 experiment. We all do that, but you still going to stay true to you. Look at Michael Jackson. He would never in his grave would never lose a fan. He stayed true to himself. That little dance he be doing and doing all this and, and touching himself and doing all and doing that leg like this. You know how he did that leg? That wasn't even a dance. He just did that. He made up that he, he did him. That moonwalk was him. That little dance he do where he do his leg up, that was him. He didn't care. He stayed true to him. And look at his fans. In his grave, they still love him.
He didn't do nothing. He didn't do the popular dance like everybody else and popular music. He made his own music and put it out there. He didn't do any music that he didn't like to do. He did him. He did his music. He did his dancing. He had his own with, with that glove he was wearing. He did him. Now you see people wearing that one glove. You see people copying off of him. You're imitating him. Now you see people imitating him. With them socks on, with them different colors, with them, with them sequined socks on. They imitating him because he came out on stage himself. He was him. He wasn't nobody else. And I'm not going to beat y'all up for that. You know, beat it in the ground. I just had to tell y'all that. Stay true to you. That's the moral of this story. That's the moral of this video. Stay true to you. And everything else will follow. Long lasting. That's it, y'all. Look here. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you made it to the end. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. Now, chest out. Head up. I ain't even going to say what I always say. You already know. Because if you're one of my faithful watchers, you already know how I feel about that nose all stuck up in the air. So I'm not even going to say that. Keep a smile on your face. Even if you don't feel like smiling, smile anyway. It'll make you feel better. Just smile. That's how you do that. Smile anyway. And I ain't gonna tell you to stay sucker free. You already know that too. You already know that. So until the next video, peace. Look, look at my nail, look, peace.